It's been four years since Jordan Farmer and Taft High School shocked the Southland to become the first team from the Valley to win the City Basketball Championship in more than 30 years. Much like that team, the 2007-2008 Toreadors are led by a slick point guard who has aspirations of taking his game to college and beyond. Larry Drew, a gifted floor leader with a burning desire to make his teammates better, might just be the player to lead Taft to another game. My whole high school career, basically all my life, just, um distribute the ball, you know, score when needed, and uh, just keep my teammates happy. It helps that Drew is surrounded by talented teammates who share his passion for getting tapped back to the promised land. Bryce Smith is a deadly outside shooter. Eugene Phelps, a high-flying six-foot-six forward, will be throwing down dunks at Long Beach State next year. Down low, Terran Carter cleans up the glass and his relentless hustle translates to 11 points and 11 rebounds per game. And then there's Justin Hawkins, Taft's leading scorer, who's headed to UNLV. Hawkins credits Drew for making the team go. They focus on Larry and leave everybody else open so we can do what we know. And like Larry just teaches us more and more since like he comes from a basketball background and everything. So just a lot easier on me, I learned a lot. Coach Derek Taylor is no stranger to working with talented players and understands the unique challenges that come with coaching someone like Drew, who's headed to North Carolina. But at the end of the day, it's those type of players that take you to championships. Well, it only makes it harder in the sense that the kid comes in with the ego. I believe not the hardest part of it is dealing with other parents who become jealous of that child. <laughs> Get the man's parents, that's the hardest thing. But no, it's, but it's overall it's an easier job. Because when you have really good players, it makes your job easier. And you'd be surprised how much harder it makes you as a coach. Yeah, players. Players like Laker guard Jordan Farmar, who will tap to the 2004 championship, then led UCLA to the Final Four two years later. Drew isn't the natural scorer that Farmar is, but when it comes to knowing what it takes to win, they're one in the same. Well, they're both a natural play. They have similarities and they have differences. Uh, they, they're both are just natural playmakers. They make plays for themselves and the team. Yeah, the only difference is uh, Jordan is a little bit more offensive than Larry. So Jordan is a guy who scored 40, 50 points. That's not Larry's game. Jordan was, you know, that was the only difference in that. Jordan was far, a little bit more, far more offensive than Larry was. Drew, a four-year starter and the son of former NBA point guard Larry Drew, knows he's got a long ways to go to be a finished product, but he looks forward to polishing his game under Roy Wayne at Chapel Hill with the North Carolina Tower Hills. I need to get weight stronger. That's necessary. Uh, you know, work on my legs a little bit more, work on my temper. But for now, the goal is to lead Taft to another city section championship and possibly a state title. It won't be easy. But with Drew at the wheel and players like Phelps, Hawkins, Smith, and Carter riding shotgun, Taft has a talent to do just that. We reach our potential we end of the year. We will contend for the city title and the state title. I think we're that good. I think we have a chance to be that good.